Welcome to Electra Online. Our next problem from the JE Advanced Test 2022 Paper 1 is another very challenging problem. It's not the typical type of problem you would see in a textbook, and that makes it always very challenging as well as interesting. So let's take a look here. We're dealing with reflection and mirrors. Three plane mirrors form an equilateral triangle with each side of length L. There's a small hole at the distance L, which is bigger than zero, from one of the corners as shown. And here we have the figure, so the side is L. It's equilateral, so all three sides have length L. The angles are 60 degrees. We have a small hole, a small distance L away from the corner. A, right a, a ray of light is passed through the hole at an angle theta and can only come out through the same hole. The cross section of the mirror configuration and the ray of light lie on the same plane. Which of the following statement or statements is or are correct? So I have four statements. We need to determine which of those four, if any, are correct. The ray of light will come out for an angle of 30 degrees anywhere from the hole being somewhere between the left and the right corner. There's an angle for L equals L over 2, which means at the midpoint of the bottom, right there, at which the ray of light will come out after two reflections. The ray will never come out for theta equals 60 degrees and L equals one-third the length of the side. And the ray of light will come out for theta equals 60 degrees and L being somewhere between 0 and L over 2 after 6 reflections. Now if you take a look at the last two questions, they're both an angle of 60 degrees. C says it will never come out for L equals L over 3 and the ray of light will come out for theta equals 60 degrees and the L is between 0 and L over 2 which L over 3 fits in that range right here. So it's essentially the same thing, but then they claim that it will come out after six reflections. So both of them cannot be correct. Either it comes out after a certain number of corrections of reflections, or it never comes out. But of course, it cannot never come out and come out at the same time. So we'll see that. Now, I quickly drew four triangles, equilateral triangles, kind of. Um, so that make things a little bit easier, so don't have to draw it on the fly. That, of course, did not come with the the problem you have to draw it yourself but what we need to do is go through each one of these and see what happens the hardest part of this is determining the angles as the ray goes in and which way things will reflect so let's start off with an angle of 30 degrees and the hole being somewhere between well anywhere so it could be anywhere so let's just pick an arbitrary point and we have a right lay a ray of light going in at an angle of 30 degrees so there's theta equals 30 degrees and the ray goes in and hits the other side. Now we need to determine what the angle is of incidence on that opposite mirror. So how do we determine that? Well if we draw a line straight this way we know that this here must be 60 degrees. We know that this angle here is 60 degrees. We know that this angle here therefore is 30 degrees. If we draw something straight down here, we know that this here is 90 degrees, which means that this angle here must be 30 degrees. If this angle is 30 degrees, then this angle here must be 30 degrees. We know that since this came straight down, this must be 90 degree angle, which means that this here must be a 60 degree angle. And 30 plus 60 is 90, so this is a right angle, so this must be a right angle, which means the ray of light is incident on that opposite mirror perpendicular to the mirror, which means the ray goes in, hits the mirror, and goes right back in the same direction, and goes right back out of the hole after one reflection. So, looking at answer A, the ray of light will come out for an angle of 30 degrees for the hole being anywhere between 0 and L. And so you can see that no matter where the hole would be at, the ray would go through the hole at an angle of 30 degrees, hit the opposite mirror, perpendicular to the surface and come right back out the same hole. And so therefore we can see that A is indeed a correct answer. All right, how about B? There's an angle for L equals L over 2. So now the hole is a halfway point. Here's the hole. And they don't tell us the angle. 
but they say at which the ray of light will come out after two reflections. So let's say that the ray goes in, we're at the halfway point, the ray goes in at some angle. Let's say this angle right here. It doesn't matter what the angle is. It could be any arbitrary angle. So that means that the ray will come up here and hit the opposite mirror. As long as this angle is not 30 degrees, it will, come, it'll, it will not hit the mirror perpendicular, go right back at the same hole as in part A. It will reflect somehow and then go in any direction like this, right? Any direction, depending upon what the angle is. But what if the angle was such that the, ang that the, the ray reflects? Well, let's draw the perpendicular to the mirror. So let's say this is the perpendicular to the mirror. So whatever this angle is, if it hits the mirror in such a way that it then reflects horizontally this way, away from the mirror, then it will go straight to the other side. And because of symmetry, we'd expect that the angle here to be the same coming this way, and if the angle is just right so that the light will reflect in this direction, since there's perfect symmetry on both sides of the triangle, since it's an equilateral triangle, the ray will can continue this way and out the hole, whoop, this way, not like that, out the hole this way, kind of messy here, all right? And so you can see that it doesn't matter, well, it does matter what the angle is. You have to pick an angle in such a way that the light will then reflect horizontally in a horizontal direction after it hits this first mirror and then through the symmetry we'll have the exact same thing and same thing happening on the other side if we for example divide it into two like this we would have the exact same on the left side as the right side and then since the hole is in the center it will come out the hole after two reflections so for part b there is an angle whatever the angle is for l L over 2 with the hole in the middle, it has to be in the middle, that way you have perfect symmetry on both sides, at which the ray of light will come out after two reflections. There we are, two reflections. So you can see, B is indeed correct. All right, how about the ray will never come out for theta equals 60 degrees and L equals L over 3. So I don't think it really matters where exactly it is, but let's, let's put the hole right here. Let's say that this distance here is L over 3. And now we have a 60 degree angle, a ray coming in at 60 degrees. Like that. And so if this angle is 60 degrees, which is bigger than 30 degrees, it will come out like this, hit this mirror and reflect. All right, so let's find out what these angles are. So this here, this angle here would be 30 degrees. This angle here is 60 degrees if we draw a line straight down. And the key to these is always draw vertical and horizontal lines and find all the angles. So that's what I'm doing here. So this would be 90 degree angle, 60 degrees. That means this here is a 30 degree angle. And let's see here, if this is 60 degrees, then this here must be 60 degrees. Opposite angles are equal. 90, 60, that means that this must be a 30 degree angle. And that means the angle of reflection must be equal to the angle of incidence, which means that we have a reflection going straight across like this, just like we saw here. So that means that this angle must be 60 degrees for that to happen. Okay, but now since the hole is not right in the middle, we don't have symmetry, which means that after it hits there, it's going to come back this way, same angle, and hit this point right here, where this is L over 3. Then it's going to hit back this way. This is a different color. This is a different color. All right. So over here, notice that this here will be a 30 degree angle. So this here uh, is the perpendicular. Got to be careful here. 30, so 30, 30, 30. So this must be 30 degree angle. So this here must be a 60 degree angle. So it comes down here. So this here is a 30 degree angle and a 60 degree angle. And that means it goes back this way. And so then this here must be a 60 degree angle because the opposite side is 30 degrees. 
six degree angle, that means we're going to have the reflection coming back this way, and then it's going to come back through the hole this way. So, what do we see here? We have a ray going in, we have one reflection, two reflections, three, four, five, and back out of the hole. It really doesn't matter where we put the hole, it always will happen like this with five reflections. So when it says here that the ray will never come out when the angle is 60 degrees, that's not the case. When it's 60 degrees, again, you'll have perfect symmetry if you draw a line straight from the middle. All the rays on the left side must look exactly the same as all the rays on the right side. At a 60 degree angle, we'll have a reflection, so the reflection here is horizontal. This must be equal, so it'll come back over here, and then you see that it comes up, straight across, come down, through the hole, and so therefore C is not a correct answer. It will come out. But now for bar D, our answer, or question D, is it says that it will come out after six reflections for the hole being anywhere between the corner and the middle. Again, it doesn't matter where the hole is, the same thing will always happen at the 60 degree angle. The reflection here will be horizontal and will have symmetry. And so it will come out, that's correct but not after six reflections, we only counted five reflections, which means it does come out, but after five reflections, so the answer is not correct. Only A and B are correct in this particular case. I guess I didn't need the triangle because I did the same thing on both, but um, that is how we do it. There's a lot of symmetry with equilateral triangles when the rays bounce around inside, and we can utilize that in order to answer the questions, and that is how it's done. 12 minutes. Wow. Yes, again, I don't see how you can reason this out in three minutes. <laughs> because you have to find all the angles. Again, the, the key is to find the angles by drawing vertical and horizontal lines so they can see how the angles work out and then obviously use the symmetry of the equilateral triangle.